Many people have described that as perhaps the, the greatest piece of music ever written. What, yeah. what is so special about the Chopin? Well, if you hear it performed at all, I think it's, it's sort of astonishing because it's, it's as I say, 50, over 15 minutes in length and it clearly takes you from somewhere and, and takes you up to somewhere quite extraordinary and then sort of brings you down again. That's emotionally already a very big journey. But beyond sensing its bigness and its, its kind of, I don't know what the word is, it, it, it kind of digs everything out inside of you, both to play it and to listen to it. You feel you're right up against life and death, really. Uh, uh, and then you are given some hope. In the, there's a, it's kind of in three big sections. Most obviously, there's a long section in D minor, which ends with the most sort of powerful chromatic harmony where the initial idea is restated. And then this sort of miracle which happens underneath it starts almost as if it's been there without you being aware of it being there is something else still related to the first germ of an idea in musical terms, still conforming to this sort of four bar structure. It's very easy. It's very easy for people to follow. This is what I think is part of its secret at that level. So people never lose sight of the narrative. They never think, where am I? They get it. Um, and this major section is kind of like, uh, it comes from somewhere else and it just delivers redemption from whatever terror, desperation, anger has been expressed in the last you know, seven or eight minutes. But of course it can't last. And there's this marvellous moment when one senses that you're almost in front of something so colossal and so forgiving and loving, and yet you can't stay there. And there's this moment where it returns to D minor, and it's as if that has gone, and you are then brought back, and there is this sort of wailing to retrieve it and the impossibility of retrieving it. And that's where he leaves you, <laughs> on the floor, <laughs> both to play it and to listen to it at the end. Yeah.